spring break okay yeah okay. all right sounds okay. good okay bye i have no idea what you should do to be completely honest with you much but hi this is kind of an evening alone slash my thoughts and whatever but um yeah I am I just finished eating dinner and now I am oiling my hair um it's coconut oil uh, which is something that is very common in Indian culture my grandmother did it for me. My mom still does it for me when I go home. Granted, they put a lot more oil and like growing up, I hated coconut oil with a passion. I, even now, like I just can't stand the feeling of it like on my skin. I just don't like it. So, but it's good for my hair. It's good for my scalp. When I'm actually massaging and stuff, it feels really nice. So that's kind of the whole situation. But yeah, I usually just like 
have, my hair's gotten pretty long. I don't know if you can tell. It's like, if I pull it, it's at the, like, small of my back, uh, which is kind of cool since it hasn't been that long since probably high school graduation. And um, I... If I wasn't in architecture school, I'd be graduating from college in 12 weeks, which a lot of my friends will be graduating in the next few months. But I think I'm like just scared because like, I feel like I'm missing out like a year of my life, like I'm starting to adult and whatnot because I'm gonna be in college for another year. And like part of me like really regrets not graduate just like finishing my degree earlier um and like doing a summer either when it was like online or whatever but yeah it's okay i definitely like have to live with whatever i end up doing so and you know what maybe it's nice that i like have a few terms off before terminals and before like crazy studio work um so, I don't know, but I'm, I'm just, I think I am going to miss everyone that's going to leave um, a lot. And I find that I'm not ready at all. I was thinking about it a lot today and I was just like, the people that are leaving are like some of my like closest friends and we spent four years of college together and now they're gonna go off and do their like adulty things and I'm so happy for them. Anyways, so I just finished oiling my hair, um, which was honestly quite nice. I think I got a decent amount of oil in there, which is very nice because my hair needed it. Um, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm struggling with like, I have a lot of hair, but I'm losing. A lot of hair like the amount of hair that I lose when I like wash my hair is absolutely insane or like when I like brush through my hair is absolutely insane okay I've been really struggling with talking to the camera I, I feel like I don't even know what it is I think it's more of the fact that like one I don't do it as often because um, I used to do it like all the time and Oh my god, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like when the coconut oil like touches my skin, which is like really hard to avoid, but I don't like it. Um, anyways, so yeah. Um, it's we're going to start week 10. Um, it's currently March 11th, which is kind of crazy because tomorrow would be three years since like COVID started, which is kind of insane because. COVID starting and me starting my YouTube channel kind of go hand in hand. So yeah, um, anyways, uh, I kind of just had an evening to myself tonight. I made some Thai curry and noodles, ate that earlier, which you probably saw. I tried to make like the first part of this like a little bit cinematic, but I'm playing around with different like filming and cinematography styles. So, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to see what other types of videos I can make and want to make. So if you have any ideas of things I should make, um, let me know. I would love to hear it. I think 2022, I did so much. I studied abroad. I had one of the toughest studios in my entire life. I was in Seattle for a summer with Emily, which was so much fun. And then I went to, I built furniture for a studio in the fall and then I was in India. So I feel like so much happened in 2022 and nothing is happening in 2023 as of now. Like nothing like crazy like that. And I feel like it's not vlog worthy, which is not great, but um, I think I will definitely get back into it. Um, I will be filming a week in my life next week, so I think that will probably be fun. This term has been a little... It went by a lot faster than I wanted it to go by. Um, and my workaholic tendencies made me 
work a lot more than I needed to or wanted to because I wanted to take this like term to rest, which I did, class-wise I did, but I like didn't know what to do with my time. Um, I kind of occupied it doing work. So I started working in the lab and then I started, um, I like worked more hours at the craft center and like homework wise, I don't have that much homework. I don't have that much stuff, but like, I feel like I'm still doing a decent amount of running around and like, which I, which I don't mind. I don't mind it at all. I actually quite enjoy it, but, um, it's just the fact that, um, I, Probably should have taken some time off and relaxed a little bit so i think hopefully next term that will be the case uh we'll see though i didn't really schedule that many breaks for myself which like i don't mind it but um i need to make sure that i have time to like actually do things and stuff so yeah um i think that's just like recovering architecture workaholic stuff so love that i can talk more about that if you want to please let me know if you'd like me to talk about that yeah i probably um i'm gonna finish watching my show and go to bed early because i haven't been able to sleep in really which i think attests to the fact that like i'm just like kind of bleh and also the weather is kind of bleh so i don't know maybe it's just the weather i don't really like winter term that much so I'm hoping the spring will be better, um, but we will see. So thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go now, but I will talk to you later. Love you, bye.